Hey everyone, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and walk through this topic real quick. This is an unfolding project. It's not finished yet because it's based on the newest version of our engine. So as we got to Core Web Vitals, we were improving everything. And as we did, we came up with a brainstorm. And it's about saving space on the servers as well as being able to produce results a whole lot faster. So again, keep in mind, um, you can nitpick all you want, like particulars for the uh, color combinations and the uh, size of the font and so on. That's okay. It's not finished, but the way we run these things up, we make changes in mass across the entire stack of projects all at the same time. What I want to show you, though, you'll be able to comprehend what's going on. This is auto generation of, in this case, this particular homeopathy project that you see in front of you, it's auto generation of 5,000 projects at a time. So then when what we do is we make a change in 5,000 projects, go back and check them out, make some notes about what we like and what we don't, and then make another change across the 5,000 projects, come back and check it out. So they're all growing together. I'll give you an example of something that needs fixing. See this homeopathic remedy? See how it runs off the side of the page here, right? So one of the uh, changes that we're going to make is to confine this to the smaller version of the box. Doesn't always happen. When we don't use all of these uh, banner blocks, then this expands all the way out. So we didn't see that till recently. But of course, we can fix it. We just need to see it. Now, what that also means is this exists on many, many of the site variations until we fix it. And that's cool. That's fine. So... What do I want to show you? Just auto-generated uniqueness, okay? So if I just flip through, all of these are worded differently. The verbiage is different. If it isn't right now, it's only because we have to run the randomizer through. But the fact of the matter is these are all totally different websites. We can use some as front ends. We can use some as backups, you know, uh, pitching the companies. Um, and we, we got to go back and double check some of the, uh, listings for the YouTube videos. We have to double check, uh, some of the fuzziness issues for the layouts of different banners. Again, we do this in stacks, right? But take a look at just how much uniqueness is generally here. Now you can tell it's the same, um, templates, right? And you can see that some of the fonts are the same. We'll obviously fix that soon. Again, we're doing this in stages. We upload, 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 change, 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 change. And so we build in variation more and more as we go through it. But like I said, our biggest thing is the engine. So here, just real quick, let me flip through this. See how different this is, okay? We're generating templates that are different in such a way that Google, Google doesn't care if they come off the same engines. A lot of websites are WordPress. Okay, Google sees that right away. So even with these websites, it's okay if the templates are based on um, templates that came out of a store, which is what our stuff is like. It's a certain engine. But as long as your pitch is whatever you want it to be, right? That kind of thing. Now, this is what this looks like. Uh, this is a domain, a domain, a domain, a domain. It goes on and on. We get this whole list of them, okay? On and on and on. And then when you go down, you've got 100 subdomains per domain, okay? So that, that's huge. You can see it down here, right? 101, that's the row number for this. So you've got like um, this times, there's like 50 domains for this thing, okay? And we're going through and checking each thing and, you know, color coding these as we go through and make updates and then check them out and then go through and make changes until we're done, which will be soon. Here's the craziness of this. In the old days... When we uploaded, we would upload an instance to the root. Then, if we wanted to create a subdomain, we would upload another instance into the subdomain. Now, think about it. This original instance was like 70 meg, maybe. And then we'd add files to it, you know, images, and do some other stuff to it and create the uniqueness. And then it would have its own database. So this thing would be like anything from 70 meg to like 100 meg. Okay. And then what? Then we would want to run another project on a subdomain. So guess what? We'd upload again another 70 meg instance and make a bunch of changes to it and add a lot of pages to it. And it would have its own database. <laughs> and by the time all is said and done, it's probably up to something like 100 meg, right? So whatever it is, by the time you got done and you created something like 100 subdomains, then you were talking about something crazy, anywhere from like 10 gig to 21 gig. And very often it would be like 21 gig would exist 
on that domain because it has to create so much underlying material to to handle all of the separate database tables, the database uh, instances for all of those different um, subdomains to run independently, right? So what we did when we got into that was start thinking, wait a minute, when we upload to here, aren't many of the files that we're uploading, the particular files, the CSS files, JS files, PHP files, aren't they identical to this? Yeah, they are. They're identical. Well, aren't these identical to that too? Yeah. You know, if one is LR. So isn't it possible for us to have all these instances read from the root files? I mean, can't they source the individual CSS files, JSS, uh, JS files, HTML files, PHP files and stuff from the root? And we thought, wait a minute, if we do that, how much room will that save us? That became a huge issue that we decided to take off and see if we could do, and we did it. Okay, That's one. Another one. We got a whole database table just for this, another whole database table just for that, another one just for that. Slows down page speed because when uh, somebody requests a page off of here, it's got to index through the whole stack and find the right database table. Then it can drill into all the values for that item. And that's just a huge demand on the server, right? And so we said, why do we need so many different database tables? Can't the data be just marked or identified for each different subdomain in one table? We updated that too. And then we um, went further. Anyway, here's the point. Now, a whole thing like this that used to take as much as 21 gig takes about 340 meg. If you do the math, it's about 1.5% the space required on the server. So a server is normally like 800 gig. Okay. So if we did a whole industry project on a server, it would take up the server. So 6,000 projects, even if it's just 100 domains, it's just 60 projects per domain, 6,000 projects would pretty much fill up a server. Okay. And Everything would take forever to load because you have so many databases, right? And you're repeating so many of the files. So we redid the engine. And that allows us to recreate the same effect, all of these uh, subdomains with their 100 pages each or whatever, okay? Same effect, same physical number of pages, same number of images and everything else. But instead of it being like 21 gig, it's like 340 meg. Isn't that insane? It means that we can put what, you know, it, uh, what? If we're saving 98.5% of the space on the server, then we can put something like 70 projects on a server instead of having to buy 70 servers to put the projects on. You know, that's nuts. So even if we had 70 servers just for diversification's sake, and you don't need to, you can just get different IPs if you really care, but even Google doesn't care anymore because it expects people to be like us, agents on behalf of many companies that own websites in an industry that we understand so we can build the websites for them. Okay. They expect that as long as we build different websites, different companies, whatever it is, or different layout of information, everything looks different. Even if it's dispatch style, then that's fine with Google because the effect is interesting uniqueness. See, Google might say, this page is similar to this one or that one, but do you know what it's gonna do? It's going to allow this page to show up on certain front pages for you know certain keywords where it fits, where there aren't other templates like that right there. But then something like that may be too similar to that for Google's taste for the same keyword, but that's very different. To Google, this and this aren't the same at all. So Google can allow that to show up and that to show up on the same front page for the same keywords. Okay, Same holds true for very many of the other uh, links. The reason we create so much diversity is to let Google fill in the gaps. Because part of what Google's going to do is, is look at the structure of the pages or of the website front pages and just choose from whatever you've got that fits in there that feels different from what already exists. Right? 
All that stuff is the algorithms for Google to select for uniqueness. So by creating so much diversity, we can overcome the limitations Google would normally put on us. So here's the thing that's amazing. We rebuilt the engine and it means this. In the old days, if we ha had to make a new version, version 19 of the software, we would have to do a file update to this and then another one to that to update that one, then update that one, update that one, update that one, update that one. So to update these 5,000 projects, we would have to upload 5,000 updater zip files that would extract or whatever it is that we need to do to create the update. Or we'd have to run the SQL query through 5,000 uh, databases. So it'd be either 5,000 file uploads or 5,000 databases. But now, because it's just using the root files once, we only need to upload the file updater once to cover all 100 of these projects. So we don't need to upload 5,000. We can upload 50 and get the same exact job done. We can run 50 queries through SQL instead of 5,000 and get the same exact job done. But in 1% of the time, it would have taken. And um, no one can tell the difference. When they come to the pages anyway, when they go through the sitemaps anyway, it's identical to what used to take 21 gig, but now only takes like, 340 meg for the same effect so we went absolutely haywire with that here's where it left us <laughs> we can produce two projects per week that are like 10,000 paid uh, uh, projects so they if you got 10,000 domain names fine then we, you know we'll put a project on each domain and you'll be paying for 10,000 domains, but you'll have a project on each domain on your server. We could do that. But you would rather do it this way with stacks of domains with the projects localized in subdomains. It's totally worthwhile and it's totally fine according to Google. So that's not an issue. Um, so you're paying for a lot fewer domains, but still getting huge benefit out of it. Now that allows us to consolidate concepts. What can you do in a case like that? Well, we made it all unique. So <laughs> these individual subdomains can be like backlinking. They could be for totally different purposes. This could be for a plumber. That could be for a roofer. That could be for a dentist. That could be for a roofer in a different city and a dentist in a different city. And this could be for cash gifting. And that could be for some MLM program. And that could be for Bitcoin. And this could be for something else. Or these could all be, you know, because it's the same concept. Homeopathy, just different cities or different towns or different homeopaths in the same sets of towns, you know, and see which ones rise to the top, you know, what Google seems to like the best. Um, what else can be done with all these pages? Because they're coded well, because we can use some of these to backlink others that we use to backlink others that we use to backlink others. So we can create cool cascading structures of backlinks through backlinks going up to create our masters with their slaves, which are the masters of their slaves, which are the masters of their slaves. But Google can pull all these things up and we can do it any which way we want, right? We have the control to do it any which way we want. Then I don't know how to explain how powerful this is. We can create... 6,000 projects in four hours with the finished files. And then we could say, oops, we made a mistake. Fix that and that and that. <laughs> so we'll take like half an hour to fix the files and then rerun them. Four hours later, we redid the entire stack of projects. 6,000 projects are fixed. In a day, we can generate 6,000 projects and then fix them. If we put in overtime, we can generate 10,000 projects and then fix them you know, to whatever thing we need, if that's how it is. Now, we've been going through a lot of self-training and a lot of steps to build the engine, but we're down to the last tweaks to finish it, okay? And that's our engine. So from here on out, projects become so much easier to handle. All that means is that when you're paying us to do the work for you, we can throw in so much strategy because we don't have to spend time on the elbow grease work. Everything that can be automated has been automated, simplified, compressed, made as fast as humanly possible. And you don't have to worry about us making a mistake.
any other website guy doing work for you, if they make a mistake on 5,000 projects <laughs> and you say, hey, you got the phone number wrong. Well, they're going to say, wait, you mean we have to go back through everything and fix the phone numbers on all these projects? You know, they would argue with you. Hey, it was your fault. You give us the wrong phone number in this file. No, see, I sent the email to this guy and he said he'd take care of it. That's your fault, really. And, and there's going to be an argument over who's going to pay for the fix, right? In our case, it's no issue. It's, you know, we can get it to chat with you. Oh, I see what you're saying. So what's the right phone number? Okay, hold on there. How are your kids doing? Oh, that's great. How's the weather out your way? Oh, that's great. Now, real quick, can you double check that page you were on? Refresh it for me real quick. Oh, is that the right phone number? Great. Can you go back through and check a bunch of the other pages you saw that had the wrong phone number? Are they fixed now? They are? Excellent. Well, you have yourself a great day. Glad to be of service. We could do that while the guy's still on the phone, <laughs> basically, okay? So all I mean to say is that a guy can wake up on Monday with nothing by the time and then go to work. And by the time lunch hits, he can call us to check on the progress. And we'll say, oh, we we're just about to call you. We finished your, you know, 6,000 project launch <laughs> in four hours, right? Go ahead and check through it. See if there's anything we missed and we'll take care of it if there's anything we missed. And that can be done by the end of the day. Now, it doesn't mean that from the point that you paid that we're done in a day. We have to work with you, figure out content. We have to figure, we have to do a lot of research, figure out alternate storylines if we're gonna go that far. Uh, we have to map out the structural differences into our files. Uh, we have to start generating a lot of images. So we have to make sure that we get the right kind of image ideas for you. Uh, for instance, Homeopaths do not wear smocks and have stethoscopes around their necks. When our guys would do the images in the first place, they would see homeopathy and start generating images with doctors. It's like, no, 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 no. You got to take the doctor images out. They're normal people working out of their homes or dressed like everybody else. Clean clothing for work, but normal clothing. So that's what you need to use, right? So we just have to make sure to go through all these things. It can take a couple of days might take a couple of days more. It just depends on how intense or, or involved your project is. But once we understand it, we start going in the right direction with it and show you some samples and you approve them. We are on a roll. So we're talking about being able to uh, finish a project for you in like a week. Okay. This is a level we were never at before. It's a level we have come to achieve in just the past two months. And so this is where we are now. No one in America is offering anything at that level um, for direct use. All these websites are worthy of purchase, basically. By the time we're done making our tweaks to these websites, you know, all the remaining stuff that we have to fix on these websites to finish them off, each one is worth selling. Each one is worth renting out. Each one is worth uh, giving to an affiliate or each one is worth giving to a reseller. Each one is worth assigning to a real homeopath and filling in their company name and their address and their phone number and making it easy for, for people to land on our sites and give them a call, right? And what would that be? That would be like a paper lead model or rent the site by the month model kind of thing, right? That's how things like that can be set up. All right, so just to make sure you understand, I mean, that's what we've been working on is hitting a button and seeing all of this appear as a result, right? And it's all correct and it's all different and Google likes it. By the way, one of the things is the menu links. You'll notice it's the same menu links, not in our system. Our system allows us to totally choose what these say. Um, and the only reason they're the same now is we haven't run that piece of this update yet. That's all. That'll be done in a day. <laughs> Same day as several other things are done that finish everything off. Okay. So just letting you know the, the topics, the alternates, the twists, the things that we have right here, we can totally make it all work. All right. And, and this, this is just like testing out different layers. They're all going to be made uniform because of course they shouldn't say all these different things. Each site should say its own thing, but they can all say different things site to site to site. We can change it up. And we can even drop these bottom boxes all together and we can decide how many of these or these or both that we have and so on. That's the point though, is that we can make all of this work, make all of it look good, make all of it professional 
and everybody wants it and it's got a bunch of pages in the menu and uh, it's powerful now I ask you how many omniopaths are out there I don't know, with, with a halfway decent website, you know, maybe, I don't know. Do you want to put a number on it? You want to say something like 30,000? Well, if you think there are 30,000 homeopath websites floating around out there in the nation, and there are probably more, um, and most of them are probably old, not decent, because homeopaths don't have much of a budget, and they don't tend to be web savvy. And we just created 5,000 for one client that can be used as a lead magnet, right? That's 5,000. So if what existed was 30,000, we just added 5,000. We just recreated one sixth of the entire market. And our sixth of the market is stronger than 90% of the websites that exist out there already. You realize that? This is how you start taking over an industry. Here's the other beauty. All of these projects, we can hit a button once a month and rewrite through the 105 pages of this and the 105 pages of that, 105 pages of that, 105 pages of that, 105 pages of that, leaving all the important stuff in place, but rewriting through the non-essential verbiage on every single page. So when we do this, and we split this project, this is partial homeopathy, partial bowel therapy, with literally um, 5,000, well, 5,000 projects each. It's a 10,000 project launch, right? It's what the guy ordered. You know what that means? If you have 100 domains, then renewing them each year only costs $1,000. Basically, 10 bucks a domain, 100 domains, 1,000 bucks a year. Okay? If you have that and you have a server, and a server's like 2,000 a year, 1,800 a year, whatever, then you've got like 2,800 bucks a year supports what? Your 100 domains that hold what? 10,000 separate website projects. How big is that compared to your industry? If there are 20,000 competitors out there and we just added 10,000 sites for you, you became one third of the nationwide industry. The compet competition level, you are a third of the industry now. And each of those projects has what? Those 10,000 projects. 100 web pages in the sitemaps. That's what you call a million page launch. And we can rewrite through those million pages every month, the non-essential wording, leave all the essentials in place, so that Google likes that. All of these pages are being kept up. Do you think your competitors do that? Most of your competitors don't. They try to make the website set and forget it, wonder why they're not making many uh, leads off of it or getting many leads off of it. Let's say pay for ads, right? But yours can start acquiring leads organically because they're obviously being attended to. Those pages are obviously important because people are on the other side rewriting through them. So any page Google checks, oh, this is being used still actively. Somebody's keeping this thing up. We're doing that with a million pages on your behalf every month. What else? We add a new topic each month, right? on the finished projects. And again, like I said, we're finishing this engine because it's so essential that we do it, but we're virtually done. And the rest of this kicks right into play because it's so easy to do after that. We're literally like a week from running everything at this level. Like a week when you look at this recording, that's where we're at. And um, the other thing, all these projects can capture leads behind the scenes. So they can get people to call. I mean, each one of these projects could be assigned to a real homeopath around the nation with their address, their phone number, their company name, right? And that's cool. And then those websites can be rented out, leads can be sold off, whatever. Um, but what else? We capture the leads behind the scenes and we can put them in the newsletters or we can sell the leads. And that leads to the final point I want to make before I cut this recording off because... It's long also. <laughs> and that's this. We are going to very soon make it possible to convert incoming leads that land on the pages, right? Those decrypted leads, the ones where we figured out who they are. Um, we can have that forwarded to a client that would pay per lead. It would just go automatically to their phone as a text message right away. They would get the information about each lead on their phone in real time 
within a minute or two, and they can choose if they're going to call a guy, email a guy. So what's the point? We can have the, the lead information go into a newsletter that emails them and or have the lead information wind up on somebody's phone so that they can see that somebody's on their site interested right now. And if they got the phone number, they can hit the call now right now and just talk to the guy. Hey, I see you in the market for da 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 da. How are you doing today? You know, what are you looking for? Can can I help you? You were just on our site recently. Da da da. They can do it however they want. Coincidence or welcome to you know. Thanks for visiting my website. It can be um, anything like that. I hear you're looking for da 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 da. Um, when you contact people who are literally on the site now or just a minute ago, chances of getting uh, results from that guy are just huge right? Because they are interested right now. And when you call, that is not a turn off. It's a turn on because they can actually ask you their questions. As long as you're polite and kind and courteous, most of the people you wind up calling that way are happy to talk about it. They'll figure they hit some button or something that got you to call them and they'll just let you know, yeah, well, this is what I'm looking for. And you'll be able to say, oh, that's excellent. That's what we specialize in. I can even assign you a coupon, whatever. They can do that on the phone. So, Leads can be sent via text. And here's another way to approach leads that we're going to do as well. Again, this is stuff that's upcoming. It's not tomorrow, um, but over the next few months. So another thing that can be done with a lead is that it can be put, the information about the lead can be pushed out to, let's say, all the homeopaths in that city, right? Like if somebody lands on one of these referral homeopath websites and there are 25 homeopaths in that town, then that text message can go to all 25 homeopaths on their on their phones like right away saying hey we just got a lead looking for a homeopath in your town um click here to see the details and it'll say like their first name their city state zip and basically tell them if you're if you're willing to pay the lead amount you know hit here to pay right make the payment then uh, you'll lock in the lead. Or if you promise to pay for the lead, you know, we'll lock in the lead now. You can call them right now. You can pay whatever tomorrow, something like that. So we can just send them a follow-up text. We'll figure out the details, but here's the point. We want to make it easy for them to be able to, to commit, react to the lead, realize it's real, be happy and interested about it, realize that they want more leads like that. And they're willing to pay the fee. How much does it cost to send 25 homeopaths at the same time, the text, and see who hits the button first to commit? Then the other ones are like, so sorry, somebody else already committed to this lead, but keep on the loop for the next leads to come. Because we can have lots of leads in every city show up. And whoever's available at the time can hit the button. We can literally provide leads to lots of people in the area. Area by area by area. So how much does that cost? Well, let's say that the outbound text costs like two cents per text times 25 guys or four cents. I'll put it that way. Four cents per text times 25 guys. It, it depends, you know, on how much you buy, how much volume is being provided for. So those leads going out to alert everyone costs like a dollar. So if you alert 25 guys that there's somebody here, aren't some of those homeopaths hungry right now for the business? They are really hoping to take on more clients. They'll be willing to pay the fee, whatever it was, the 15 bucks you're going to charge or the 20 bucks you're going to charge for that lead. Say 15, make it sound delectable. Like it's so desirable. They can't really say no. They don't want to say no. They want to go ahead and try to acquire that lead. And they'll, they'll pay the 15. They'll give them a call. They'll talk them through, see if they can turn them into an ongoing customer, right? So what if you have leads like that happening all day long? What if you got like 10 leads like that, you know, a day, an hour, whatever, uh, in an area, could be 10 leads a day for this region here and another 10 for that, another 10 for that, another 10 for that. This is a business that can be run totally around text messages and the cost for contacting everyone's like a buck. You know, you contact the guys in the area and someone's going to take it for 15. That's a 15 times ROI you know, for every area times every day that that happens, right? The numbers are staggering. And the fact that we are able to produce all these websites using all these templates with our structure and our controlled varshing, be able to grab the leads and send them wherever they should go. Newsletter here, text message there, or both. And think about the industries. 
Leads are worth everything. I got a guy starting up probably with solar panels, um, solar panel installation. Those leads are probably 25 to 40 bucks each, maybe 50. If you blast it out, hey, got a lead to all the solar panel installation guys in the city, could be like 40 bucks a lead, 50 bucks a lead. What about roofing? What about plumbing? What about pest control? All of these things, these guys are going to pay five bucks a lead, 10 bucks a lead, 15 bucks a lead. And um, whether you give the lead to just one guy or two or three or four who are each paying in the area is just up to whether the model makes sense at one, two, three or four. But you could sell the same lead for 50 bucks each to four different guys and make 60 bucks off that one lead and let those four guys decide how they're going to interact to try to get that client's business. You might do two, you might do three, you might do four. It just depends on what it is, right? Um, so many ways to go about it. Okay, I wanted to explain all that because it's really what we're bordering on and stepping into with all the stuff that we're doing at the same time. So just to reiterate, Core Web Vitals, um, the multi sheet approach for this sort of thing so that we, we can condense stuff, make everything faster, um, being able to do alternate storylines and, and content variations so Google can't recognize the similarity. Doing all these different templates with literally over a billion <laughs> color times font times banner overlay and, and banner height combinations, banner text overlay, background overlay, <laughs> opacity level. Oh my gosh. Uh, banner text background opacity, <laughs> the 0 0.701, right? Uh, so 0 0.701, 0 0.72, 0 0.73, all the way to 1.0 is 30 variations there. So the whole point is so much variability that nobody can catch it. And we can put so much material onto a server without killing the server. And the final thing is we can load balance. We can put more installers neck and neck to install at the same time. Does it have to be 1500 an hour? No, it could be 3000 an hour. It could be 6000 an hour. We're getting there. Okay. There you go. So I'm just going to wrap it up with this. Um, we are going to be out of state for a few days, the date of this recording. Then we'll be back like three days from now. Um, and then I'll have some catch up to do before I can uh, do much else. But yeah, just uh, call Dave. Okay. You can always leave me a voicemail. If you don't reach me, no problem. Everybody can call anytime you want. Um, and if I just don't answer, I'm not available now, but I'll get back to you when I can. And just let me know you're interested in discussing a project for you, right? These are projects. Now think about it, These are projects that run like 15 K, but $15,000 for a million web pages comes to what, what, what is it? Isn't it something like a penny and a half per totally optimized web page? <laughs> So everything we produce, this is a penny and a half. And then this is a penny and a half over here. <laughs> you know, the page on the inside here, right? A penny and a half for perfect versions of it. Like I said, we're going through the updates as we go, right? But perfect versions. So when you think that big, it's absolutely insane what can be accomplished, okay? And it's bigger than anyone else offers. And the beauty isn't just what we can produce, but the fact that we can rewrite through it, recreate it, and fix problems so efficiently that it's it's just cost effective to move at this economy of scale. Okay. All right. So let me know if you're in the game. Let me know what interest uh, you have. Any of you that know an industry, worked in an industry, start thinking about that. Is it growing? Pretty much any industry you can name is growing because population grows. Very few industries are condensing. Okay, So just look up some stats on the growth of your industry. Some people say, which is the better one? The answer is there really isn't that. I mean, there's tons of pest control, but the jobs pay less, right? There's lots of jobs, but they pay less. There are tons of roofers, but people don't need roofs so often. Then there are guys who lose their keys. All of these are worthwhile. Any one of these is worthwhile. So just get a hold of me and ask me what industry is still available. Uh, and let me know your thoughts on an industry you think you might like. If you really have no clue, ask me to choose. I can do that. If you can budget, I can choose. Okay.
But yeah, we're launching the greatest engine ever made for website creation, deployment, and remote control. And if we make a mistake, we don't need to charge you an arm and a leg to fix it because it's just easy to fix it. No sweat. So unlike other companies, they don't have that luxury. <laughs> they have to argue it. We don't have to argue. We can just fix it. Okay, there you go. Give me a call when you're ready with a project. And yeah, let's talk it through. And if you need to make payments, you can make payments for chunks of it to unfold. So we'll discuss when we chat. All right. You have a good one. I hope you found this series really interesting. I had a lot of fun making it and helping you guys catch up with where we are and what we can do for you today. I can't wait to hear from you guys who are lucky enough to come on board now while the prices are still young because we're just launching. Because what do you think something like this is truly worth, right? It's certainly worth a lot more. So definitely get in, get going now because this is really one of those assets you can build to retire you with you doing the least amount of work, us doing the most amount of work, and it just making sense. All right, I cannot wait to see who is joining our team of the guys who are stepping in with these projects. We have a number on a roll now. We've got more as you guys are coming to understand what we can do. And I think by putting all this out, you can grasp it. And if you feel like you belong here, you probably do. Give me a call. Let's discuss, see what we can do. Okay, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Take care.